there are many powerful earth science related activities, data, and processes that one can use inside a geographic information system or GIS environment. All of these let us look at spatial patterns, relationships and trends across the landscape from local to global scale. In this example, let's take a look at sea level rise. We've all seen all sorts of predictions about what would happen if sea levels rose due to a, a global climate warming period. In my GIS, I have a couple of different layers. I've got some country outlines. I've got some sea level and coastline information as well. Let's take a look first at what the coastlines were like 20,000 years ago. The current climate fluctuations are nothing new. Climate's been changing ever since the Earth was formed. Let's zoom into the Caribbean Sea, Central America, Mexico, be nice to have those country names on there. With the GIS I can do that. Okay. I can also change the labels so that I don't have any sort of duplicate labels. I'll do that. That way I'll only have one label for the Bahamas, for example, even though it has numerous islands. Take a look at Florida and the Yucatan Peninsula, for example, and then these coastlines on the eastern shore of Honduras and uh, Nicaragua. They were quite extensive because the shelf there, the continental shelf, is, uh, is, extends out into the ocean quite a bit there. And so 20,000 years ago, uh, this is what we had estimated to be the coastlines. Let's turn on the coastlines for today. Okay, that looks more, more familiar. What about if the oceans rose by five meters? Well, in many places, you don't see much difference. But in other places, for example, South Florida and Louisiana, there's a huge difference. Why is that? Let's go ahead and analyze what would happen if the oceans rose by 50 meters. Wow. We do not have any of the Florida Peninsula anymore, or South Louisiana, or even the Texas coast. What about if the ice cap at the South Pole and Antarctica totally thawed, this is what we'd have. We'd have an estuary across the South Central United States here up the Mississippi embayment. Let's take a look at some of these islands. So what does this show us? Instead of looking at a table of data or reading a paragraph or two, none of which are bad things in themselves, here we can actually investigate the data and look at patterns, relationships, and trends.